Here we are at the treetop windmill, Pembroke test site. Uh, she's been working away, not a problem. She survived the hurricane frontal winds coming in last night and this morning, and she's still working fine. Uh, we lost the speed indicator on one uh, uh, wind indicator, but we have two uh, with a backup. Uh, the backup is showing uh, gusts in the 40 rate as of this morning, the last uh, well, uh, minute or two. So she's slowing down. As you can see, our wind is slowing down, and then she'll pick up, waiting for another gust to come in. Uh, Irene's still just out, just below Rhode Island. She'd be overhead by two o'clock and uh, she's been working flawless no vibration no nothing so this is Bob Mann treetop windmill and we are surviving Irene Sunday morning eight o'clock she goes here she's coming there's some speed I can tell you right now these gusts are moving here we go well we're here recording and if I can do it right Do her right. We've got 40 mile an hour gusts. It's 8 o'clock morning, Irene, at this particular morning. I don't know if you can get the contrast. But you can see the upper layer, the clouds are really moving along. And here she comes. Here comes another gust. Starting to feel it. Here we are at the end of the storm. It's six o'clock. We've still got uh, pretty high winds. She is fine. Hurricane Marie and still making power and working on the guts out. a windmill. Can your windmill do this? As you can see, the wings were so strong that it bent. The wind indicator on the top. And that baby, two hose clamps on it, and you can see what she did. That is a sight. As you can see, the dawn of a new day in vertical wind turbines. She is the hurricane survivor. Treetop windmill. Dawn of a hurricane survivor. Bob Mann here, and this is a man made turbine. The treetop window with the man. Here's some of our destruction from Irene in the neighborhood. As you can see, this car didn't do too well.